Please start up, no problems. Yes. Needs oil maintenance. EPS malfunctions because I haven't set it up the new sensors for the tires. Yep. Lots of things. I want you guys to listen to this noise. When I turn the car, when I rotate the steering wheel at uh, anything more than I'd say about halfway of its maximum turning radius, it makes this noise. Hold on. Hear the ticking noise? Hold on. I bet the camera's not gonna pick it up and make it sound nearly as bad as it is. It sounds like um, it sounds like a, a torque wrench clicking every second. Like tick, 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 tick. I hope the camera can pick it up, but it's it literally sounds like may, maybe metal spokes on a bicycle being crushed. Now I looked it up. Honestly, it sounds like one of the front axles are just completely giving out, right? Uh, and it happens on both sides, both left and right sides. But you know me, the mechanic, totally 100% certified. I'm, I'm not certified. Uh, but I, I googled it and on some uh, GTR forums and whatnot. And there's this really big forum about it and there's several different like sub forums about it where people have um, experienced the same issue with GTRs because GTRs are fucking finicky apparently. But this one guy's got this massive thread and I'll link it below. If this sounds like something that you're having an issue with and you have a GTR, apparently, and I could be wrong, but it seems like there's rust that builds up on the hub, in between the hub and the actual rotor, and then in between the rotor and then the wheel. And when that rust gets there, it like creates these small gaps, and I guess then it creates, it deflects and stuff like that. I don't know, I'll be honest. But it supposedly creates that ticking. And to get rid of it, you have to pull the whole rotor and like brake assembly off, clean it and then lubricate it and I don't <laughs> I don't feel like doing that man I really don't feel like having to take apart all that shit so I'm gonna take it to um, one of my buddies who's a GTR tech at the Nissan dealership and ask him if he knows anything about it and if it seems like something that he's familiar with then I'll, I'll probably ask him to fix it but uh, either that or uh, Mr. Lynch Mr. Lynch built GTRs and uh, I'm sure he knows about the problem too but it's such an awful fucking sound, man. And I'll be honest with you guys, I love this car, but these things are fucking annoying. A lot more annoying to have than I thought they were gonna be. And I'll be honest, man, I absolutely love my car. I don't want people to think that for a second that I don't love my car. Uh, owning a GTR has been one of my dream cars. There was even someone who commented on a video recently that I saw um, talking about like four years ago I was talking about owning one of these and here I am I got one but I wish I knew a, I wish I knew more about like how kind of finicky these cars were gonna be before I bought one so I'd be more prepared to handle certain things let's see where do I start the transmission rattle this guy's behind me in a, in a VW taking photos of my car listen hands-free guy geez can you believe some people have electronics in their hands still see it's a joke because I have my camera in my hand I don't want to call them problems but owning this car has been super finicky like it, it does have a lot of what would Doug Demure call it quirks and features I think he'd call them quirks and features the transmission super clunky sounding it rattles and it bangs and it slaps against each other like dinner plates of Christmas and by the way I'm not hating and I'm not bitching I'm not in a bad mood I just woke up so naturally like I'm a little bit more on edge I think and it makes it seem like I'm being an asshole but I'm not I promise I'm just I'm just tired all the time but it's got an awful transmission rattle if you're at idle if you're driving it it doesn't really matter the thing kind of makes like a, a rattling noise it sounds like you have like a marble or something in a bottle it's like you shake it it's a hundred percent normal GTRs brand new off the showroom floor do it and GTRs with a hundred thousand miles do it it's awful 85 cold starts oh my gosh they are the absolute worst and I know that's more of like that's not really a GTR thing that's more of like a if you've tuned your car thing Oh, it's running good right now, though. I'll give it that. I'm trying to do some shortcuts. This is why I don't want to lower my car, because then I won't be able to take these back roads really fast. See, the thing is, my front valence clears these bumps pretty good. This saves me probably, I don't know, eight minutes on my morning commute. 
to the shop, which is where I'm going right now. Oh, I got this. Another thing to note is how terrible the paint is. Even on, on my car and on Justin's car, the paint is just absolutely awful. It's like they have a $100,000 supercar that Nissan makes with $50 Altima paint jobs and it doesn't really make sense why you would you would spend that kind of money on a car to get The same paint job as this car pulling up If that's their way of saving money, I don't understand that seems like a weird way to save money. I would almost put Chevrolet and Nissan on the same level of paint quality when it comes to their um, GTRs two vehicles now by GM the Camaro and the Corvette and both of them, their paint was terrible quality. Actually, I take that back. The Camaro was better quality paint than the Corvette was. But I've seen the new Cadillacs, their paint jobs, especially at Justin's shop, when you, he takes apart cars, you can see like how they paint their cars and how they paint parts. Cadillacs, I cannot believe how terrible of a, of a paint job quality a Cadillac is because it's supposed to be like the upper echelon of Chevrolet. It's supposed to be the higher quality of Chevrolet. You still get like Chevy Spark quality paint jobs. It, it, it's really weird. But I, I guess my big complaint is the fact that it seems like every every week I'm like, uh oh, is something breaking on my car or is it just a GTR noise? Check out my camera. I need to stop and get some, I need to get a fuse or a couple of fuses for the bike because it blew a fuse because I'm a child. Brake fluid and coolant and electrical tape because I need to do the wiring today. I'm on the last couple of steps for the uh, for the Honda Shadow build. It's looking great. You know what, fuck it. I'll give you guys a sneak preview at that today. I don't want to show too much off. Um, I'd like to get it running today. Sh today should be one of the last days I have to work on that thing. That's the only downside to really owning this car that I've seen, other than the fact that I do miss the manual transmission that the Corvette, I just miss that, like shifting gears, you know? Other than that, this car is insanely fun and fast to drive. Oh, I just blew through red light, <laughs> fuck. Speaking of blowing things up, did you guys hear about that other YouTuber um, who was driving his McLaren on the wrong side of the road and head-on killed himself? It killed a, uh, a woman and her daughter as well. <laughs> That's fucked up. All right, so here's the deal with the bike. Uh, got it running today. Um, blinkers need a relay, or not a relay, but a diode. That's the last thing that I'm missing for the blinkers, front and rear. So I'm gonna order that when I get home. Things that need to be painted still are the um, the wire tank, the wires all tuck into. Front forks need to be painted, so I'm gonna probably do that tomorrow real quick, and then that'll dry over the course of a couple days. Bike's basically good to go did ride it today, so the last thing I need to do besides that, front brakes. I need to front, fill the front brake solenoid with uh, brake fluid and bleed them, and then I'll have front brakes again. Rides perfectly fine, very surprised. <laughs> Gosh, there's really not much to do. I gotta figure out the headlight isn't working, and I think that might be because of an issue with the wiring. I wanna make sure that I got everything wired together properly, and then I've got to mount the speedometer. I'll probably relocate the speedometer. I don't like where it mounts up on the top of the, the bike. I don't like it. Two or three more things. I was really hoping to have revealed by the end of the week and I might depending on how fast I can get parts. I still have like two or three things on order and then it'll be done. Maybe this weekend, fingers crossed. I talked to my buddy there who's the GTR specialist at that Nissan dealership and everyone online says it's due to corrosion that builds up between the hub and the brake and the, and the um, actual wheel itself and it causes that like tinging sound, that tinny tinging sound. So I wanted to bring it to someone who knew GTRs really well and he does. And he basically, he, he's like, it sounds exactly like that problem. It's nothing that's gonna leave you stranded or break. It's just a noise because GTRs have GTR noises, you know? Apparently when you go buy a GTR brand new, they make you sign a form saying that this is like a race car and that they make these noises and that you should be aware of the noises. Because they do rattle, they clank, they make these crazy tinging noises and it makes me uncomfortable, but apparently it's all normal. But now I'm on my way to Justin's shop. I gotta cut out some stickers for him. And uh, yeah, and I'll probably kick him in the dick or something, I don't know.
Oh yeah, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned these, but I got these new uh, Do It With Dan hats. They're on sale at Moto Loot. You know, I'll put a link in the description. I dig them. Dirty slut. You whore. You filthy whore. Filthy whore. No shotguns. I remember, yeah, I remember when I screwed you really bad last time. For you. <laughs> My brother. That's a good look. Yeah. Yeah.